picking the fruits of success. South Tyrol is Italy's wealthiest province, but when some of these vines were planted, this region was part of Austria. And most people here speak German, even though it's been part of Italy since the end of the First World War. This is our big advantage, that we understand the Italian mentality or the, Italian, the mentality other uh, people in Italy have, but we understand also the mentality uh, our yeah, big markets like Austria and Germany and Switzerland. Members of Italy's national police, the Carabinieri, learning German. In the past, tensions between the two language groups in South Tyrol sometimes ran to violence. But these days, being bilingual is a fact of life. South Tyrol has a special status in Italy. It's an autonomous region with extensive powers of self-government. South Tyrol seems remarkably untouched by the Euro crisis. Unemployment's low and businesses are thriving. But many of the German speakers here resent the idea of having to bail out southern Italians. People they see as spendthrift and profligate. Ninety percent of the taxes paid here stay here. But now because of Italy's financial problems, Rome wants more money from South Tyrol. The ruling party here says that goes against their autonomy agreement. We have to, uh, to, to give a lot of money to Rome, but uh, we will de decide uh, our uh, competences, our money, and for us it's very important that uh, we have to uh, collaborate with Italy, uh, with uh, the central uh, state, and not uh, to uh, give money without a guarantee. And some people want to leave Italy altogether. These traditional Tyrolean groups are campaigning for a referendum on the region's future. People are asking why we should have to pay for Italy. We aren't actually Italian anyway. In this way, the crisis has made many people aware they haven't got anything to do with Italy. The idea of breaking away from Italy is a step too far for most people here. But beneath the surface, there's brewing discontent. Bethany Bell, BBC News, in South Tyrol.